Welcome back to our higher level IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry topic 16, Kinetics, where we will be looking at the rate determining step, the rate equation and reaction order. As discussed in our IB Chemistry topic 6 video series, a reaction rate reflects the rate at which a single reaction takes place. However, Reactions represented by stoichiometric equations often occur through a series of steps occurring at different rates. It therefore follows that one of these steps must have the highest activation energy and thus be the slowest. It is named the rate determining step and is formally defined as the slowest step of a reaction which controls the overall rate of reaction. So what is a rate equation and how does this relate? Well, a rate equation is a formula used to determine the rate of a reaction at a specific temperature, based on the concentrations of the reactants within. It is written as rate equals K times reactant 1 times reactant 2 and so on, where K stands for the rate constant. There are two crucial points to understand with respect to the rate equation. K is only constant at a certain temperature and so it changes with temperature. And the rate equation only includes the concentrations of the reactants up to and including the rate determining step. An important relationship exists between the concentration of a reactant and the overall rate of reaction. This is termed the order of a reactant. A reactant can have one of four orders. Zero order, first order, second order and third order. For a zero order reactant, if its concentration were doubled, the reaction rate remains constant. Note here, the units for K are mole per decimeter cubed second. For a first order reactant, if its concentration were doubled, the reaction rate would double, i.e. they are proportional or linearly related. The units are seconds to the minus one. For a second order reactant, if its concentration were doubled, the reaction rate would quadruple, i.e. they are exponentially related. Note that here the units for K are mole to the minus 1 decimeters cubed second to the minus 1. For a third order reactant, if its concentration were doubled, the reaction rate would increase by eightfold, i.e. they are cubically related. These do not come up much, so don't focus on them. Although the units here would be mole to the minus 2, decimeters to the 6, second to the minus 1. So how do we write a rate equation? As introduced earlier, rate equals K times reactant 1 times reactant 2. When writing the reactants, you write them within square brackets, to the power of their order, i.e. a second order reaction with respect to HCl would be written as HCl squared. However, a rate equation cannot just be created it must be determined experimentally, i.e. using data. This is because a stoichiometric equation alone does not show the reaction mechanism, a concept explored later in this video. Let's take a look at an example. The following reaction was conducted at varying concentrations of A and B, and the rate of reaction measured. This information is shown in the table below. Determine the rate equation for this reaction. So, we start by finding the order of each reactant. To do this, find two example reactions in which only one reactant was altered in concentration, and then compare the rate of reaction. Let's start with A. We select reactions 1 and 2, since A doubles whilst B remains constant, allowing us to see the effect of changing the concentration of A alone. We can see that as the concentration of A was doubled, the reaction rate increased fourfold, Therefore, this reaction must be second order with respect to A. For B, we select reactions 2 and 3, as A remains constant here. We can see that as the concentration was doubled, the reaction rate remained constant. Therefore, this reaction must be zero order with respect to B. The rate expression would therefore be rate equals K A squared B to the zero. It is worth noting that since zero order reactions have no impact on the rate, they are often excluded from the rate expression. 
so this can also be written as rate equals k a squared. However, the question asks for a rate equation, which means we must calculate the value of k to convert our expression to an equation. This can be done by substituting in the values from one of the reactions to our rate expression and solving for k. So using the first reaction, we would say 0.2 equals k 0.2 squared, which rearranges to give k as 5. Thus, the rate equation is rate equals 5 a squared. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.